dear friends this much content will definitely help you in passing the examination not only passing you can easily score with the flying colors if you just cover this much portion and this should be your uh, at your topmost priority don't neglect these questions hello everyone and welcome back into my another passing package video for the particular subject that is engineering geology for third semester civil stream students its subject code is bcivil 303 so so far we have discussed the passing package for SOM subject and engineering surveying if you have not watched it yet you can avail the link in the description box okay so dear friends let me tell you first the theoretical subjects are very easy to pass in the uh, video examination and this subject is uh, easier than SOM and engineering surveying okay you should uh, fill more number of pages in the examination uh, as much as possible you should fill the pages quantitative and qualitative also means uh, heading should be the best over there okay that should be the good one and uh, footer should be the good one over there okay in between you can write down the theory whatever you have understood the concepts in your own convenient language that is the better okay so as much as possible you should fill the pages for theoretical subjects so let me discuss here the passing modules for this particular subject the beginning three modules are the passing modules which contains a lot of theory and i have taken some most important questions which uh, will appear in the examinations so with a neat sketch explain earth's internal structures and composition this may be the first important question what is an earthquake and uh, describe the causes of earthquake and its effects okay write uh, briefly causes and consequences of tsunami what are landslides describe the man causes types and control measures or simply preventive measures okay describe uh, seismic zonation and its uh, in, uh, sorry importance in urban planning and construction practices to minimize earthquake risks okay next possible question may be classify uh, volcanic eruptions based on their types and causes and evaluate their potential hazards to human settlements and infrastructure last but not least maybe the write a short note on cyclones and write down its causes okay these are the most important questions which will appear in the examination so this is all about model first now let me proceed with the model second which is again a passing module in which you have to cover explain railway blast with the examples okay uh, analyze the physical properties and composition of minerals in determining the suitability of minerals okay so next uh, that is classify different types of uh, rocks based on their origin means uh, different types of uh, like igneous sedimentary metamorphic and discuss their structures textures and mineral composition so questions will be like discuss the structure texture and mineral composition of metamor metamorphic rock sometimes uh, uh, sorry discuss structures textures and mineral composition of sedimentary but most uh, frequently asked question is the metamorphic okay on the metamorphic rock over there so write a short note on rock forming ore minerals and write their write their significance in constructing materials evaluate the applications of decorative rocks in construction including their use in facing and polishing for architectural purposes write down the significance of rocks in mono uh, monumental and architectural construction explain the process of dressing stones for construction purposes what are the key characteristics of good building stones for masonry work this is all about the model second so now let me discuss here the model third that is again a passing module in which super important questions are like what is rock weathering and describe the different types of weathering write down their effects on civil engineering projects with a neat sketch explain the soil profile explain the significance of soil horizons in understanding soil properties and processes right next is write a note on soil uh, mineralogy discussing the composition of soil minerals and their role in determining soil fertility texture and structural properties again a uh, super important question like uh, classify soil is based on their uh, structure texture and composition differentiate between black cotton soil and a uh, laterite uh, soil over there okay write down the effects of weathering on the monumental rocks next but not least that is the explain the principles of soil classification by grain size this is all about the model third so you should cover this much portion this should be at your top most priority okay these three models by which you can pass this subject next models uh, there are some problems also that is why i don't count these modules in the passing part over there what is a what is an outcrop add a note on dip and strike what are joints write their importance in civil engineering field describe the classification and types of tension joints what are the faults how do you recognize faults in the field describe the different types on faults with neat diagram right so next is the 
with the fault part also they can ask you like explain horst and graben with diagram and also what is fold with neat diagram describe the different parts of fold over there right next is explain the importance of faults folds and unconformities in civil engineering projects such as tunnel construction dam projects and reservoir site selection you should give the importance of these particular uh, projects over here next is describe the types of borehole data commonly collected during uh, subsurface investigations and there are some problems on borehole data and outcrop problems if you are convenient you can go through the problems if you want pass only so you can neglect the problematic part over there right next is module fifth explain the electrical resistivity method for exploration of groundwater this is the super important question discuss its applications and limitations what is aquifer explain different types of of aquifer and analyze various methods uh, involved in the artificial recharge of uh, groundwater define the coefficient of permeability and discuss the factors affecting permeability in rocks right calculate the depth of water table using the electrical resistivity method write down assumptions also this is the most important question next is uh, discuss how seismic waves are used to determine the depth and characteristics of underground water sources discuss the significance of seismic studies in assessing subsurface structures and identifying potential aquifers so i hope dear friends this much content will definitely help you in passing the examination not only passing you can easily score with the flying colors if you just cover this much portion and this should be your uh, at your topmost priority don't neglect these questions so make sure you will try to write down these in your a4 sheets okay so that you can write down the answers accordingly to these particular questions so thanks for watching my video and all the best for your examinations